The array every method returns a boolean value true or false, letting you know if every item inside your array passes a specified condition. So of course, you pass the condition in and an example looks like this here. We have an array of fruit, apple, mango and lemon and we're calling fruit.every and we pass in a condition in the form of a function. So if this function returns true for every single item in the array, because it's gonna run for every item in the array, if it returns true for every item, you're going to get true as your return value or your result from calling every. So in this case here, we're checking if every fruit has a length, so number of characters, a length of five. I'll run this code here. We can see we do in fact get true in the console. So every fruit inside the list passes this condition and it returns true for that item. Let's add another fruit in. Let's add banana, which has six characters. Save this, run the code again. Now, of course, we get false right here. Now, it's also important to note that if you were to provide uh, every with an empty array like this, even though the array is empty, you might think that, well, none of the items pass the condition because there are no items to actually test. Well, it's actually wrong. It will provide you with a value of true. I guess this here could go either way, um, but the way it works is yes, you get true as the result. So this here is perfect for doing things such as, let's say you make multiple API requests to perform an action and you wanna see if every one of those requests have passed, you can utilize this to give a message to your user. And that is all for this one. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.